I, I'm, I'm curious your thoughts on Cincinnati, okay? I think that Notre Dame's, because we did not get to talk about this on the Sunday show, I think Notre Dame's win over Florida State on Sunday night in overtime actually saved Cincinnati's chances at a playoff berth. I, I went back and I looked at the Bearcats and, and UCF a little bit with their comeback win over Boise State. Because if you look at Cincinnati's schedule now, after what happened this weekend, they whipped up on Miami of Ohio. They've got Murray State coming up. But then Indiana, which was supposed to be a big game, Indiana went to Kinnick Stadium, and Iowa beat them to death, 34-6. to uh, You got Notre Dame after that. You got Temple, who got destroyed by Rutgers. You've got UCF. Then you've got Navy, who got whipped by Marshall by like 42 points. You got Tulane, who put up a valiant effort against uh, uh, against Oklahoma. Then you've got Tulsa, who got beat at home by UC Davis. USF got beat by 45 against NC State. Then you've got SMU, and then East Carolina lost by a couple of touchdowns to App State. Their, their, their opponents did not do them any favors this year. Do you think, uh, this is week one way overreaction, but I kind of feel like Notre Dame was Notre Dame and UCF were the saving graces for Cincinnati this weekend. The the problem with that is is you're assuming that they have a spot no matter what. Agreed. Agreed. That's that's the issue. They they could they could play the LSU schedule from 2019. They ain't letting them in. I think I think you're right. I mean, it, that's the problem, <laughs> and it, it, it pains me to say that they could beat five top five teams. It doesn't matter. They're not going to let them in. They'll put five more power five teams ahead of them. And say, well, you didn't beat these guys. If uh, if you took the nine and a half over earlier this off season, you got to be feeling pretty good right now, yep. because I maybe you lose at Notre Dame, maybe you lose to UCF. I don't see another loss on the schedule. Like Indiana might find a way to show up, but I just, whoo, Michael Penix was bad, and I would hate to see that Cincinnati defense just just wreck him. You know, <laughs> so <laughs> I think it's probably going to happen. But yeah, looking at the schedule. I think that that's what is happening here. I think Notre Dame and UCF were the the last hope for Cincinnati to have any shot at the playoff. They did move up in the AP poll. I mean, I mean, like we'll I said, I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody's letting them in. So you might be right about that. It doesn't matter what they do. You might be right about that. All right, with that out of the way. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.